Hello everybody, it is your favorite monkey and welcome back to Gaming News Weekly Blitz. And if you look in the description down below, you will find a link to my channel where I do some gameplay videos on Last Day on Earth and other video other video games, other games. And today we have Shirley Curly or better known as Skyrim Grandma. Now, before I get into the story, I did actually a few years ago when Ark was still a thing, it was brand new, fresh off the block. And um, I did actually have some sort of encounter with her, okay? Uh, but it's not like, yeah, I know her. It's, it's uh, yeah, I know her very well. No, no, it's just a brief thing. Um, it was on a big YouTuber's channel and uh, she commented something. I commented on her comment and she just commented back and that's about it. So, <laughs> but I do have a lot of respect for this lady. Um, due to the fact that she is a much much larger channel than what i have and this just just goes to show it doesn't matter what your age is or whatnot gaming will be in your blood for life you know it just doesn't matter but when this tweet came to my twitter feed i got really angry um not because of what basically happens here but the fact that people don't go around journalists that just doesn't they don't do their uh, homework basically or their research. What am I talking about? Well, it is basically VG247 That has said that Skyrim grandma announces she is scaling back streams for the sake of her health after receiving an onslaught of patronizing comments <sighs> and Without a second thought grandma did a dragon shout and hit back at them VG247, I don't know who you are or where you get your ideas from, but there was no onslaught from patronizing comments. But yes, I am scaling back my videos due to health. Most people on my channel are very nice. I do wish you would delete this so it would go away. And, well, did, did they delete it? Let's quickly take a look. And it turns out, no, they did not. Although, they did do something. We'll get there in a second, but basically what this is what they're saying over here just to quote from the um, I'm not gonna link this article at all, but uh, Because these people don't deserve any of my uh, Time let's put it that way and I do have ad block on on their website. So eat it beloved video game streamer Shirley Skyrim grandma curry is pulling back from the public eye after receiving a small number of negative and patronizing comments that will have affected her health. Dude, listen, BG247, she is like in her 80s. There's other health problems. I don't think a couple of bad comments is gonna get her down. She's got, I mean, if I had her channel, the size of her channel, I would, I don't care. I would not care in the world. I would not have a care, okay? That's just how things roll. You think the negative comments on PewDiePie and Markiplier, Jack Skeptic Guy, um, Keemstar, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, those people, when they get a couple of negative comments, what do they do? Nothing. It doesn't affect them whatsoever. I mean, come on. You really think that a couple of negative patronizing comments will affect her health? No. She's not weak. I mean, come on, she's 80, playing Skyrim. What are you guys doing? You guys are like <laughs> clickbait stuff, okay? I'm dabbling a little bit into the clickbait things in the world right now because I'm getting a bit desperate. But this, this is just bad. This is really bad, I'm sorry. It's just like 24-7, no, VG 24-7, you guys are like, no. This is not how you do it. But you guys are probably wondering like, okay, baboon, please. Well, what's was this all about really now like I said she did say that um, She asked them to basically just change or delete this whole article and by the evidence they did not do so But if we scroll down just a little bit just, just scooch, you know just a little bit Down here all the way to the bottom it says update since the publishing of this article Shirley Skyrim grandma curry nice keyword stuffing there, eh? has expressed that she did not face an onslaught of patronizing comments and that suggestions of harassment are exa exaggeration. Julie's original vlog describes she stressed that describes I'm having sort of a brain fart to apologize. 
Shelley's original vlog describes the stress experience when some viewers nitpick and criticize her streams. However, these make up a very small portion of the feedback she receives. She says, we have updated article to address this. He updated the article on the bottom of the article. Like, literally, this is the end. Take this. Put it up here. Up here. Above this. First of all. Okay, that's that's what I'm gonna say. And then they just quoted this. Alright. Um, first of all, like, for me as well, I'm a very small YouTuber. Okay, very small streamer. The thing is, we also get negative comments. I had my fair share. Do you think I'm gonna quit? No. No. I'm not gonna quit. Does it affect my health? No. Not really, no. It's just like, it's a nuisance. But somebody who um, takes the last pack of noodles at the supermarket, it's a nuisance, but I'm not gonna be a Karen over it. You know, I'm not gonna be a... What's, what's the equivalent of a, a Kyle? I'm not gonna be a Kyle over it. No, uh-uh. This, this is not the way you do things, okay? And look, let's just, let's just get, let's just move on. So if we go over to Google News and we type in Skyrim Grandma over here, we will see that the top coverage by Critical Hit, Grandma Skyrim is taking a break from streaming thanks to relentless internet armchair critics. No. <laughs> <laughs> this was six days ago. The Times Live. Skyrim Grandma is taking a break from streaming because people are the worst. Again, no. Tech Times. Watch. Grandma Skyrim. Sky Skyrim Grandma takes a break after internet trolls pushed her to her limits. Rawr. No. No. They did not. No. Listen, people, this is this lady's in her 80s. She has other priorities, okay? Her health is number one. And I support her fully, okay? And I feel like I want to educate people, all right, about clickbait things. I know, that, I know this is a news, news segment, okay? And this is how you do it. You take a, 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 a afternoon, you go do some research. Okay, look at everything and if you go watch Shuri Curry's um, or Skyrim Grandma's blog you will know and see what she really means there was one negative comment one but that didn't affect her okay but she is going to reschedule her streams and things so that she can look after herself because the thing is in the world if you don't look after yourself then you can't look after other people. If you're not happy, you can't make other people happy. That's how it works. That's how life works, okay? Now, if we scroll down just a little bit, we can see now this is all of the coverage. Gamer Grandma Sherry Curry calls out fake news. Good. Gaming Grandma announces break from streaming due to hurtful online comments. Bad. Lad Bible, one of these, these are like, they have pretty cool things, Lad Bible. But no, this is, again, wrong. Uh, rock, paper, shotgun. Skyrim Grandma cuts back on videos. Good. GameSpot. Skyrim Grandma, the world's oldest streamer, is cutting back her schedule. Good. You know, this is not, see, this is not clickbait. This is not bad clickbait videos. Okay? Or stories. These are like, if you're a follower of uh, Skyrim Grandma, and you see this, um, cuts back on videos and streaming, um, then you would be interested. Because it shows that these people actually care about content creators. But let's say, for instance, Vice. YouTube Skyrim Grandma is taking a break after reading the comments. That's clickbait on the worst side. Okay, YouTube, the way you do things is you need a clickbait title and a uh, thumbnail. Which correlates with what you're doing in the video. Um, which makes sense. You know, but if you're just doing this just to get the clicks through, get people to click on your video and then run a bunch of ads and things, and it has almost like not even 20% of what's really going on, then that's a bad, it's just bad. You know, that's, that's not the way you should do clickbait things. Okay. Um, so if there's a little bit of homework for everybody, look at this video. Okay. 
pause in between, look at all of these and point out which are the bad ones and which are the good ones. Okay? And then you will see, let's say for instance here, Forbes. This is a good one. This is actually brilliant. This is brilliantly written. Skyrim Grandma Shirley Curry scales back to reduce stress. There we go. That's all you need to do, people. Really. <laughs> um, but this this is what I want to bring up is that she has my full support. I know that things get in the way in life when making content. For me, it was when I was moving. It was not. I, I stopped a little because I was moving. Not because, you know, I was. Uh, somebody said, you're a noob. And I was like, oh no, oh no, never again shall I upload. No, that's not that's not what happened, okay? I didn't even tell people. I think I did. But still, that's this is what is wrong with the world. You know, there's a lot of things going on right now. I understand the world is in a bit of a mess, okay? But I want people to understand that there are ways to see what is good news and what is bad news. And bad news equals fake news or fake news equals bad news as well not necessarily bad news like the world's on fire that's bad news i agree you know but good news and bad news and bad news fake news equals bad news not good news okay that is what i want people to understand and just be careful what you read online read a bunch more articles if you don't know for sure just don't trust the first one you see all right and thank you so much for joining me here on Gaming News Weekly Blitz. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.